Hi friends, I'm Miss Katie and welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word. We are celebrating a very special day in our church today. It is called Pentecost. Can you say that for me? Pentecost. Looking around at what I have here, do you have any guesses as to what we are celebrating at Pentecost? I've got some balloons. I'm wearing red and the balloons are red. And I have a cake. What does that remind you of? Does any of this remind you of a birthday? If it did, you are right, because we are celebrating the birthday of the church. And we are remembering that at the birthday of the church, Jesus told us he was sending us the Holy Spirit. And as we've been thinking about our pictures of God, the dove is one of those ways we represent the Holy Spirit. And so is fire. And we're going to hear more about fire in our readings today. Do you have any guess how old the church is? Do you think the church might be 50 years old? Oh, it's bigger than that. How about 100? hundred years old. Do you think our church is older than a hundred? Oh my goodness, it is. Two hundred years old. Five hundred years old. A thousand years old. Oh, it's even older than that. Our church is close to two thousand years old. That would be a lot of candles on my cake, wouldn't it? But today we're going to hear about Jesus sending us the Holy Spirit at Pentecost which is the birthday of the church. Let's get started. Friends, our first reading today really tells us the story of Pentecost. Sometimes we hear the main story about a feast in the gospel. Today, you're going to hear the main story of this special celebration of the Holy Spirit in our first reading. Are you ready to begin? If you're ready, show me hands on your head, hands on your shoulders, and praying hands in your lap for this reading from the Acts of the Apostles about Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, all of the Lord's followers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly there was a noise from heaven like the sound of a mighty wind, it filled the house where they were meeting. Then they saw what looked like fiery tongues moving in all directions, and a tongue came and settled on each person there. The Holy Spirit took control of everyone, and they began speaking whatever language the Spirit led them to speak. Many religious Jews from every country in the world were living in Jerusalem, and when they heard this noise, a crowd gathered. But they were surprised because they were hearing everything in their own languages. They were excited and amazed and said, Don't all these who are speaking come from Galilee? Then why do we hear each speaking our very own languages. We all hear them using our languages in order to tell the wonderful things that God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hi again, my friends. It's Mr. Greg, and today's a very special day, Pentecost Sunday, when the Holy Spirit came down on the apostles and they proclaimed in different languages, like you heard in the first reading today. So in our psalm today, we also sing about the Spirit, and we ask God to give us His Spirit. And it goes like this. Lord, send out your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Your turn. Lord, send out your Spirit, Renew the face of the earth. I praise you, Lord God, with all my heart. You are glorious and majestic. 
Our Lord, by your wisdom, you made so many things. The whole earth is covered with your living creatures. Lord, send out your Spirit. Renew the face of the earth. You created all of them by your Spirit, and you give new life to the earth. Our Lord, we pray that your glory will last forever and that you will be pleased with what you have done. Lord, send out your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Thank you. That was beautiful singing. And now let's sing our Alleluia before we hear Jesus in the gospel. Here we go. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Are you ready for our gospel? I will start by saying, the Lord be with you, and you will answer, and with your spirit. Then I will say a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, and together we will say glory to you, O Lord. Let's begin. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples were afraid of the Jewish leaders, and on the evening of that same Sunday, they locked themselves in a room. Suddenly, Jesus appeared in the middle of the group. He greeted them and showed them his hands and his side. When the disciples saw the Lord, they became very happy. After Jesus had greeted them again, he said, I am sending you just as the Father has sent me. Then he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sins, they will be forgiven. But if you don't forgive their sins, they will not be forgiven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, let's think a little bit more about the Holy Spirit. At the beginning of our time today, I mentioned to you that the Holy Spirit was kind of, could be kind of like a dove. And then we heard in our first reading that tongues of flame, tongues of fire, rested on the disciples' head. And I told you it was the church's birthday. But take a look at this. What do you see floating up here? What's keeping that balloon up high? What's doing that? It's the wind, isn't it? And in our reading, we heard about the mighty wind. Can you see the wind that's holding that balloon up? No, you can't. You can feel it. And look what happens if I reduce the wind. It makes that balloon go lower, doesn't it? The Holy Spirit is kind of like this wind. It holds us up. It keeps our faith lifted. But can we always see it? No, we can't. But what if the wind were to stop? What happens to the balloon? It comes to the ground, doesn't it? And that can be kind of like us. If we don't have the Holy Spirit in our lives, we can feel like we don't have a lot of lift in our life, but when we do have the Holy Spirit, it lifts us up and helps us to live happy and joyful 
and good lives with God. I have one more thing that I wanted to talk with you today on this birthday of the church. Do you know who this guy is? This is a picture that normally hangs in the gathering space of our church, but I'm wondering if you have seen this person before. Do you know who it is? This is Pope Francis. Can you say that for me? Pope Francis. And the Pope is the person who is in charge of the Catholic Church on earth. Now we know that Jesus is really the head of the church, but on earth, the person who is in charge is Pope Francis. One of the things that is so beautiful about our Catholic Church is that it has been around since Jesus was here. Jesus founded the Catholic Church and we have had a Pope ever since the time of Jesus. Take a look at this picture that I have here. Way up in the corner is Saint Peter. And we think of him as being the first Pope, the first leader of the church. And then look at all of these holy men who have served the church all the way down to here to Pope Francis. All of the people you see pictured on here have been the head of the church. And on this Pentecost, when we're thinking about the birthday of the church, it's kind of a really neat and special thing to think about how our Catholic Church had, was founded by Jesus and has been led by all of these followers in the line of Peter all the way to Pope Francis. When we pray at Mass, we talk about and we pray that we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We say that in Mass. Maybe you'll hear it later when you watch the whole Mass video. What we mean by apostolic is that our church is in line of all of these followers of Jesus, that we, our Catholic Church, traces all the way back to St. Peter and all the way back to Jesus. So as we are celebrating this Pentecost Sunday, what a beautiful gift we have in our Catholic Church. Friends, let's get ready to sing our Yes, Lord, I Believe song. Do you believe in God the Father? Yes, Lord, I believe. Who made the earth? And all we see, yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, Lord, I believe. God's only Son, born of Mary, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe in God the Father, I believe in God the Son, I believe in the Spirit and the strength that makes us one. I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand. I believe, I do believe. Do you believe that Jesus died? Yes, Lord, I believe. He died for us so we could live. Yes, Lord, I believe. Do you believe He rose again? Yes, Lord, I believe. He's seated now at God's right hand Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe I do believe do you believe in God's great church? Yes, Lord, I believe. 
And all the saints who've walked with God Yes, Lord, I believe Do you believe in God's forgiveness? Yes, Lord, I believe That we will rise to life again Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe, I do believe This is our faith which we profess Yes, Lord, I believe I believe in God the Father I believe in God the Son I believe in the Spirit And the strength that makes us one I believe that Mother Mary sits with Jesus at God's hand I believe I do believe I believe I do believe Friends, before we finish today, let's take a minute and quiet our thoughts and quiet our hearts and share our prayers with God. We pray for all of our family, all of our friends, all of our teachers, all of our helpers, and all of our pets. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those people who might be sick who might be hurt, who might be lonely, or who might be sad. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And let's pray happy birthday to the church today. And remember what a beautiful gift we have with the Holy Spirit who helps lift our hearts and helps us know great joy and God's love in our lives. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Is there something special that you would like to say to God in prayer today? Are you ready to share that together on three? Are you ready? One, two, three. I pray for all of the children watching Children's Liturgy of the Word today. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Happy birthday, church and friends. I hope that you have a beautiful and great week ahead, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time for Children's Liturgy of the Word.